Today we're going to discuss uh, one scale in particular. Uh, we've seen it before as the Lydian flat 7 scale when we've been using it in uh, the context of a chord scale for substitute dominance. We're going to talk about it today as a primary scale which is used to create passages of music all on its own. Sometimes the Lydian flat 7 scale is referred to as the acoustic scale because the, the notes of the scale are actually transpositions of the overtone series up to uh, a high degree of the audible partials. So why don't we just lay that out for a moment. You know, in, in the overtone series we have the low fundamental, uh, then the second partial is the octave above, above that we have the fifth, then another octave, then a third, and then we start to get into this sort of raised four territory up to the flat seven. So you get this kind of floating open sound. It's the sound of the overtone series. When we transpose that down into scale form, we get this. Again, I'm just letting that ring so that you can hear what a beautiful, rich, mysterious, beautiful sound that is. The C acoustic scale is, is interesting in that it has attributes of two modes that we've studied before. It has attributes of the Lydian. So its first four notes or tetrachords are the Lydian tetrachord. Whole steps, whole step, whole step. And its second tetrachord or four notes is that of the minor scale. Whole step, half step, whole step. So in a way, this is a, a uh, you know, if we think about this like a mode, we actually have two characteristic notes. We have the sharp four of Lydian and the flat seven of Mixolydian, which gives us a lot of rich possibilities. I think I'm going to just take a moment right now and improvise some music for you in the C acoustic scale so that you can see some of the potential. Lovely floating quality, isn't it? It's almost a, a mystical sound. In fact, the Russian composer Alexander Skriabin created a chord based on this scale that I've been playing, which he called the mystic chord. You'll notice that as I improvised for you, I was just simply using the tones of that scale, uh, arpeggiating them in different ways, playing them in scalar fashion, uh, creating harmonies that were based on the tonic triad, uh, created variety by moving to the five chord or the two chord, which contained the characteristic note of Mixolydian and the characteristic note of Lydian. has a lot of potential, but basically it's a, a, a very consonant, free-floating sound that uh, just allows you to create a, a, a gorgeous, glorious, soaring mood. <laughs> 